Michelle. Thank you. The emergence of shale gas in the U.S. has transformed the North American gas market. In the Canadian province of British Columbia, gas producers that previously relied on trade with the U.S. are now looking elsewhere, mainly to Asia. But they're not alone. Russia is also hot on their trail as well. Christian Yeo reports. Canada's west coast is the front line in a global gas race. Up and down British Columbia, exporters are scrambling to sign deals to supply liquefied natural gas to countries across the Pacific. But whatever happened to Canada's thirsty old energy customer to the south? The reason that so many projects here in British Columbia are now focused on the Asia market is because Canada's biggest customer, the US, is now making its own gas. The fact is, BC doesn't consider the US a potential market these days. In the past, we exported this gas to the United States. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your perspective, the Americans are now producing a lot more natural gas themselves because of the shale gas revolution. Our customers have become our competitors. So, sights are set on Asia. But frustratingly for Canada, China's being wooed from both sides. Russia's state gas company Gazprom has signed a 30-year supply contract with China. It's Russia's largest ever gas deal. No easy feat, considering it already supplies Europe with a quarter of all its gas. As for Gazprom's existing customers, a warning. Prices for them will be affected. Given the strained relations between Russia and the EU over Ukraine, could Canada poach some of that European business? Probably not. The infrastructure just isn't in place. If you look at the proposed projects in Canada, the vast majority are on the West Coast. In terms of the European picture, I think I would have to say the US is probably better situated to capitalize on that. Analysts say there's more than enough demand in Asia to make West Coast LNG operations plenty profitable. China is not the only player in the Asia-Pacific region. In fact, right now, the two key demand markets are Japan and Korea. And so if you look at uh, in 2013, Japan and Korea taken together bought more than half the global supply of LNG. So very, very important markets. There's also Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia and Taiwan. Across Asia, energy needs are set to rise. If only there was a far-reaching trade agreement to make deals between Asia and the Americas easier. Agreement on the long-awaited Trans-Pacific Partnership can't come soon enough if LNG producers here in Canada are to land major contracts. Russia's drive to export gas is unlikely to stop with China. Christian Yeo, CCTV, British Columbia.